Oh, the, the hammer, you mean, the this one. Yeah. Okay, so who's gonna fess up? We've got the inside scoop on all the props, costumes, and memorabilia from the Thor sets that the actors who starred in the film swiped away. One item in particular makes it to the list a few times. It's pretty clear to us what the hottest ticket item was. And we're not surprised. Will you be? Must be hard for you to see your ex-girlfriend and your ex-hammer hanging out and getting on so well. Number 1. He loves a good prop. Maybe that's why he swiped so many. To say Chris Hemsworth has taken some MCU swag would be an understatement. Thor without his hammer just doesn't feel right, so no wonder Hemsworth makes sure he has his own stash of hammers kept at home for when he isn't filming. And where are they kept? Well, he likes to show them off, of course, but not everyone in the household agrees. I put it on the mantelpiece, my wife puts it back in the cupboard. The last confirmed number was five. Yes, five Thor hammers that have left the MCU set for good, it seems. But Hemsworth reminded us that there is never just one hammer on set anyway. It does have some weight to it. It was just sort of the walk and talk one. The stunt one is like foam and soft and hollow. Even still, his castmates didn't always approve of his actions. Yeah. What a dirtbag. <laughs> like... Number two, he got an epic one. Thor Love and Thunder may have marked the first time Christian Bale took to the screen in the MCU, but he didn't waste any time in making sure a memento from the set made it home with him. And which incredible item did he get his hands on? I have the sword, you know, I have that. That's pretty good. Yeah, of all the props to keep, we'd say that's probably one of the best you could get. As much as any Marvel fans would want to admire it, Bale prefers to keep quiet about it and doesn't show off his stuff to just anyone that walks into his home. I don't like my f house to be f filled with uh, film memorabilia, so they're, they're in very quiet corners. Number three, she knew what was good. Tessa Thompson brings all the power as Valkyrie and has for all her years in the MCU, and she looks great doing it. Let's take a moment to appreciate this epic Valkyrie costume. We feel amazing just watching her in it. We can't imagine what it would actually be like to wear the suit. Oh, it was a masterpiece. <laughs> it's so good, it's so good. When Love and Thunder came around, Thompson had been part of the Marvel team long enough to know that sometimes things from set get swiped. So when she knew what she wanted, she went for it. That is why you can find some of the Valkyrie wardrobe in Thompson's home. We wonder how often she just wears the costume around the house. If it were us, it would probably be always. I think it's cool, but it's fun to be king. Number four, it was for a good cause. I stole the jacket and some of the wardrobes. Not that it totally excuses stealing a costume piece, but this was a pretty solid reason. Chris Pratt's Star-Lord jacket was an integral part of bringing him into the character. But I put that jacket on and it was about a 40 pound jacket when it's wet. Pratt felt the power of the character he was playing and wanted to use it to do as much good as he could. So his reasoning for bringing the costume home with him was that he wanted to go and visit children in hospitals all decked out as Peter Quill. I think that's awesome, man. That would be, that would give me real meaning for this movie, you know? If that's the reason, then we're all for the stealing. You're waiting for somebody to give you permission. I'm giving you permission. Number five. Hella is here, and guess what she's got? I got the hammer. That's right. Kate Blanchett somehow managed to weasel away from the Thor Ragnarok set with Thor's hammer in her hands. What we will say is that it seems like she really revels in having the prop in her home. So at least she gives it all the love it deserves. Couldn't find the ears, but I did find the hammer. Number six, like brother, like brother. We can't forget about Loki, the god of mischief. Though what's a bit ironic is the fact that we totally would have expected Hiddleston to be the sneakiest and stealthiest when it came to taking props from the set because, well, he is the god of mischief. But as it turns out, he was one of the most well-behaved, only taking, well, this. I have this. Sorry, what's that? Luckily, Hiddleston is always eager to give a refresher. When Loki comes down to visit Thor in the first movie, and he's wearing this scarf. As silly as it might seem, that black and gray scarf means a lot to Hiddleston. And to be fair, it is a little piece of Marvel history. Loki is worthy too. Is <laughs> but we still kind of wish he got to keep some of those epic crowns. 
that I knew that that was where it was going. Number seven, a frightening but very cool souvenir. Now, it is alleged that Carl Urban has taken a major prop from his time on the set of Thor Ragnarok. If he were to take a prop, there is no question which one he'd swipe. I would probably take my axe, I think. Yeah, it was pretty cool. But has anyone checked with the MCU to see if anyone's seen that axe lately? We've got a pretty strong feeling that everything might not be as it seems. Do we trust this? And that allegedly may or may not have happened. May or may not. Right. Number 8. Go big or go home. Karen Gillan took a real part of her character home to keep. We're talking a real, real part. Like a body part. I know you got a metal arm, but I'm not <laughs> I did too. It. A clunky memento for sure, but can you say epic? We wonder if she's keeping it to bring to set with her for a future film. She has this real dark side, and I get to explore that, which is really cool. Do we think she'd come to set with the arm already in place? Maybe it was just for practicality. I had a strong feeling that I was the best person for the job. Number nine. Yeah, he pleads guilty. I have a hammer from just about every film, I think. Maybe the better name for this character would be Thor, god of stealing things from set. Here's the thing. Hemsworth didn't just stop at hammers. He really pushed the envelope with this one. I've got Stormbreaker. Just happened to turn up here in the Avengers. It's... While he has gotten away with a whole lot of prop swiping, the Marvel execs are on to him. It made it very difficult for me to get another hammer from the next movie. Number 10. Hawkeye gets what Hawkeye wants. All right, so this one was for a pretty good cause. So I said, fine, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it dressed as Hawkeye. When he isn't busy on set, people can find Jeremy Renner acting as the valet at his child's school as a favor. So that's why I have the costume. I don't know if they're going to ask for it back. I probably won't give it back at this point. <laughs> Number 11. To be fair, he's earned them. The famed shake weight that appears on screen in the MCU lives in Taika Waititi's home. But to be fair, he did bring it to set from his home in the first place. So he was just taking back what was his. That said, he isn't totally innocent. I've got a lot of the toys for my kids. YTT has publicly confessed to taking more than his fair share of props from the Lightyear set. I kind of overdid it. Number 12. It's Chris Hemsworth. Wrapping us up is Thor himself, who, as we know, has perhaps the stickiest fingers of all the Avengers. Not only did he bring all those weapons home, he also managed to sneak away with a full Thor suit. He is lucky he's a god, otherwise he might not get away with all that thievery. I'm very thankful for it, and, and I love having them along for the ride. Wowza. These MCU actors have really gotten away with swiping a lot of stuff from production. Honestly, we'd probably want to swipe one of Thor's hammers. It does seem like Marvel has an endless supply. What prop would you want to get your hands on? 